Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss to you about standard score. Standard score ay tinatawag din na Z-score. So, they are just the same. A Z-score is a measure of position that indicates the number of standard deviations a data value lies from the mean. It is the horizontal scale of a standard normal distribution. Okay, saan ba ginagamit itong Z-score? Ang Z-score, ginagamit siya or makikita rin siya sa normal curve. So, ganito ang itsura ng normal curve. So, sa normal curve, ito po ay representation ng isang standard normal distribution. Kasi sabi standard normal distribution, sa distribution, equal ang mean, median, at mode. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung ang mean mo ay 10, ang median mo rin ay 10. Ang mode din ay 10. So, pag equal silang tatlo, sila ay tinatawag na standard normal distribution. So, ang representation niya sa curve ay tinatawag na normal curve. So, this is how it looks like. So, pinakagitna, itong umbok. So, dyan makikita or malolocate ang mean, median, at mode. Okay, so particularly ang mean. So the distance from the mean up to this point, yun naman ang standard deviation. Yan. Okay? Standard deviation. So kung ang standard deviation natin ay 5, so 5. Okay? And this is the percentage of the data. This is not the standard deviation. Okay. So, saan natin makikita ang Z-score? Ang Z-score ay, ayan, sa so, may nakalagay na 1 standard deviation, 2 standard deviation, 3 standard deviation. Or, pwede rin uh, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. And, 0 dito, no? So, si 0 ay nakatapat siya sa mean. Okay? Or, mean median mode. Yung pinakagitna. So, dito naman, so below the mean, pwede nilagay negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Ang tawag dito ay Z-score. Okay? Okay, the Z-score is positive if the value lies above the mean. So, kung positive siya, so it lies above the mean. Kasi ang mean mo dyan nakatapat sa 0. Okay? And negative if it lies below the mean. So, kung negative, so, it lies below the mean. To calculate a Z-score, the population mean and the standard deviation must be known. So, kailangan natin ng mean at standard deviation to calculate for the Z-score. Okay? Okay, this is the formula for the Z-score or standard score. So, Z is equal to, so, Z stands for the standard score or the Z score. X stands for any row score or unit of measurement. And, all, and also, the mean. And S stands for standard deviation. Okay. Example number one. Let us suppose that the mean of a test is 122. And the standard deviation is 24. So, ang mean daw ay 122. So, this is our mean. Standard deviation is 24. Then, if Jose earns a score of 146 on his test, what is the Z score? Okay. So, let us enumerate the values. Oh, this is the formula for the Z score. And our mean is 122, our standard deviation is 24, and our x is 146. So, this is the raw score. Now, let us uh, substitute the values to the formula. So, x will become 146 and mean will become 
standard deviation will become 24. So, let us subtract this first. You will get 24. No, 146 minus 122 is 24. 24 divided by 24, the answer is 1. So, the z-score is 1. Now, let us proceed to example number 2. Two equivalent intelligence tests are given to similar group. The tests are designed with different scales. The statistics for the test are listed below. So, yan. so we have test 1, test 2. Which is better? A score of 145 on test 1 or a score of 60 on test 2? Okay. So, for test 1, ang mean niya ay 100, ang standard deviation ay 15. So, for test 2, ang mean niya ay 40, standard deviation is 5. Now, let us calculate the z-score for these two tests. Okay. So, for the formula for the z-score, z is equal to x minus mean over s. So, our x is 145. So, it came from here. Okay, let us now substitute. So, 145 minus 100 over 15. Subtract first 145 minus 100. So, we have 45. So, copy 15. So, 45 over 15, the answer is 3. So, our z-score is 3. Now, let us proceed to test 2. Our x here is 60. So, it came from here. Okay, let us substitute now to the given formula. So, z is equal to 60 minus 40 over 5. So, 60 minus 40 is 20. So, 20 over 5 is equal to 4. So, our z-score is 4. Now, the question is, which is better? So, based on the computed value of z-score, we can say that a score of 60 on test 2 is much better than a score of 145 on test 1. This implies that 60 on test 2 is better score. Although 60 is less than 145, it has a better relative position when considered in the context of the other test results. Pag mas malaki ang Z score na value, mas better. Okay? Okay, let us proceed to example number 3. Trisha got 141 in English and 112 in general statistics. So, these scores, ito yung X, no? Sa English, yung raw score. Ito naman yung X sa general statistics. If the scores in English average 148 with standard deviation of 3.2, so this is the average... This is the standard deviation for English. Okay? While the average score of general statistics is 113 with a standard deviation of 4.3. In what subject did Trisha get a higher grade? So, it list down natin. So, we have English and general statistics. So, so English, ang score mo, raw score, ay 141. Ang average is 148. Ang standard deviation is 3.2. Okay? Sa so general statistics, ang raw score mo naman ay 112. Ang mean ay 113. And standard deviation is 4.3. Now, let us substitute the given values to the formula. Okay, so this is the formula. So, x will become 141 minus mean, which is 148. So, 141 minus 148 over the standard deviation, which is 3.2. So, let us compute this first. Then, you will get negative 7 over 3.2. So, divide negative 7 divided by 3.2. The answer is negative 2.1875. So, Round off to two decimal places. So, the answer is negative 2.19. So, our Z-score is negative 2.19.
Okay, let's proceed to general statistics. Substitute the given values to the formula. So, we get 112 minus 113 over 4.3. So, let us subtract this first. Then, we will get negative 1 over 4.3. So, divide. So, you will get negative 0 0.23255581395. So, round off to two decimal places. So, the answer is negative 0 0.23. Now, what subject did Trisha get a higher grade? So, remember, this is negative. The z-scores are both negative. So, yung mababa, ibig sabihin yun yung mataas, no? So, ibig sabihin, mas magaling siya dito sa general statistics. Mas mataas yung z-score na to. So, Trisha, get a higher grade in general statistics. Okay? So, Thanks for listening.